No, I think that comes also with age. Um, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. <laughs> Should I be nervous? Because I'm wondering what you're going to put me through. No, 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 no. I'm here at Manchester City to learn what the everyday sports person can take away from some of the world's best players and coaches and how Gatorade fuels them forward. I'm going to meet Simon Bitcon, who's head of strength and conditioning here at the club, and learn about the importance of pre activation. Simon. What a pleasure. Nice to meet you. How are we doing? We yeah, all right? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. Although, I'm, I'm, should I be nervous? Because I'm wondering what you're going to put me no, through. No, 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 no. We're just going to do some nice, easy exercises. OK. I'm not going to expect you to jump over massive hurdles. OK. So I'm, relax, not gonna, yeah. I'm not going to embarrass myself. No, 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 no. Okay. I'll look after you, don't worry. Thanks, Simon. We're obviously focusing on, on pre-activation, which I think sometimes gets forgotten about, but how important mm -hmm. is pre-activation before any form of exercise? I think it's really important. It's about preventing injury, which yeah. is massive. You get injured, you can't exercise the next day. Mm -hmm. When you're developing any sort of fitness parameter, consistency is a key thing. Yeah. So you need to be able to keep coming back day after day. And I think part of pre-activation is preventing injuries. Mm -hmm. I think the second part is performance. So yeah. you want to make sure your body and your mind is in the best state it can to perform as good as it can. Nathan, absolute pleasure to sit down with you, man. How important is warming up? Because I know, particularly young people, we don't do it as much, we don't stretch when we should, but how important is it, especially as you know, an athlete at the top of the game? For me, it's very important. Um, I'm a player who, who needs it. Where I came from before, we mostly had a game a week, so you have a lot of time to recover, to, yeah. to relax. And, and then I came here and it's basically every three days. Yeah. And yeah, after a few games, like your body starts to become stiffer. Um, when you go out on the pitch uh, and you train, um, maybe you don't feel as loose and everything starts to tighten up a little bit. And yeah. then if you do that a couple of weeks, uh, you know, on the bounce, then maybe the third week, you know, you pull something or you never know, you know, where it comes from. So that's right. We, we try to adjust it. And um, yeah, so far it's worked. Oh, it's really, really worked, mm. man. It's been so brilliant to see. And with that as well, I guess then that gives you more of a confidence when you're playing as well. The fact that if you're doing all the stuff properly beforehand, it can only make you better when it comes to actually when it matters. No, for sure. For sure. All right, Simon, I think the time has come. I'm, I'm ready to be put through my paces with a few exercises. So this one is for the hips. It's for the big muscles that drive the hips. Mm -hmm. And it's the, what we call the sprint muscle, like the glute. And it's a really important one we do with Erling. Erling obviously does a lot of sprints, high speed running in behind. Yes. Try and get behind and stretch the defenses. So this is one we work on in daily in terms of making sure that that key sprint muscle is, is activated. Okay. We have a, a very good team here and they really like focus on your individual. I think when you come in pre-season, you do all kind of tests. So they, they see what kind of areas you have to focus on and um, yeah, they work with you on that. So most of the people have different, uh, different programs. I want you to start with just create a little bit of space in your back. So a lot of the pre-activation will be based around them as individuals, mm -hmm. about what they need. If we know a player like Erling Haaland's going to be expected to do a lot of runs in behind, a lot of speed type stuff, then we need to prepare his body to be able to handle that. Ah, yes. Okay. This is what drives your speed. And off that, where does Gatorade come into the routine then? When they come and see me in the gym, I want them to be ready to work. Okay. So Gateway would come in in the preceding time before that. Is it sometimes hard to listen to your body though when maybe sometimes you want to play or if you want to get out there, you kind of have to go, hang on, I need to give me what my body needs. Yeah, yeah. no, I think that comes also with age. Um, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. <laughs> no, I think when I was younger as well, um, you know, you always want to go out and you always want to train. And I think now when you get older, you, you take care of your body a little bit more. You yeah. Listen to your body a little bit more. Yeah, so important. Yeah. If you had one top tip, what would it be? What would be a go-to do you think we should be all focusing on? Well, for me, my activation is very important. So, yeah, I think the one thing uh, I would say is the activation is, is, is very important to make sure you're ready to, to attack the session and the game. Yeah, Nathan, absolute pleasure. Cheers. I will say that. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hydration is one of the main things for a football player and I just try and keep myself as hydrated as possible and then your body starts to feel good. Two passes to me. Yeah. One. Two. Two. Next one's off the board, take yeah. two touches. Go a little bit further back. Excellent. Hold well on.